Good morning, Michel Juvet. Good morning. The title of your conference this year is The World Turned Upside Down, New Convergence. Why? That's true. Uh, the world is changing very, very rapidly. Um, and following the crisis of 2008 and 2009, different countries had to make a very strong adjustment. Uh, and these adjustments are producing a new distribution of power between America emerging countries or inside Europe. For example? In Europe, for example, the southern countries like Spain or Portugal have decided to make the labor cost falling. Uh, and this is creating an interesting thing. They are able to export to new markets, to the US market, but they're exporting to Germany as well, and they are able to be in the international competition. That, sh that shows that the South is coming back now. And there is a new dimension in Europe? It is true there is a new dimension between Germany and Southern countries. But in the same time, there is one country in the middle which is not progressing, and this is France, which is uh, staying or laying on the road of productivity. And in the US also, the mood is changing. Yes, we had many changes in the US, but one of the main pro aspects is the change in energy. Um, we had something like a revolution in, in the United States. For example, next year, um, the US is going to produce as many barrels as they're going to import. So that means that in terms of trade balance, there will be an increase in the trade deficit, which will be very gigantic. Um, and the second consequence of that is that the corporations in America are benefiting from a cheaper energy cost. And that is one of the reasons why some industries are bringing back uh, production which were based in emerging countries back to the United States. And for example, we're seeing other consequences like production and export of automobiles. Now we're seeing US cars uh, going uh, overseas as well. This is a new phenomenon. Um, and in terms of consumer, we're seeing the US consumers changing its attitude. Um, they tend to consume more less product coming from the emerging countries than American products as well. Uh, USA in competition uh, against the emerging market was not predictable. Not at all, because at that time, everybody was saying uh, this is the emerging countries who will save the world. But these countries have been unable to manage correctly their success. And they have overinvested, they, uh, they have overconsumed. And now most of these countries have trade deficits, budget deficits, or some inflation. And they're in the same position that Europe was after the crisis. They have to adjust, or they will have to follow the, the old way of devaluing currencies to try to re-stimulate the old model based on exports. And then the world economic growth uh, is more sustainable. Yes, at the end, the growth will be higher for the world next year, 3.5% maybe. But the, 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 the big change is that uh, the difference between the economic growth in emerging countries and developed countries will be reduced. For example, in 2008, emerging countries were running at 6% economic growth and the world at zero. Next year, emerging countries will have a growth of about 5% and developed countries about 2%. So this, the gap is narrowing between these, these um, two continents. And that is more positive for the world, in a, in a sense. And do you think the world uh, monetary policy uh, will be totally changed? Yes, in this new environment, with a stronger growth, um, the fantastic uh, uh, monetary policies which have been uh, uh, developed during the last few years, particularly in the US, will have to change. Um, and, and the US central bank will change. Uh, uh, the central bank um, from America is just waiting to the discussion we have at the moment on the, on the, on the debt negotiation. But once we have uh, passed these discussions, um, I'm sure that next year the US uh, central bank will have to reduce its monetary policy. And that means that other banks uh, which have followed what the federal uh, central bank in the US have done will do the same. And I'm thinking just about one uh, national bank which is very close to that, the Swiss national bank. In this new environment, uh, the Swiss national bank will have as well to reduce its assets. And that will be a new upside-down world. Exactly. Thank you, Michel. Thank you.